Okay, in this video we're going to do another example related to the law of cosines. And what we want to do here is just find the measure of the smallest angle in our given triangle here. So uh, we have side lengths of 4, 6, and 9. The first observation is the smallest angle is going to be opposite the side of the triangle that has shortest length. So the side with shortest length would be our, our side here, AB, that has length 4. So that means, again, we're trying to figure out the angle here, uh, the, the measure for angle C. Well, we can use law of cosines. So 4 squared, that would equal 9 squared plus 6 squared minus 2 times, well, 9 and 6. And then that's going to help us uh, bring in our cosine of the angle C. So now just a little bit of arithmetic. Uh, 4 squared 16. 9 squared to 81, uh, 81 plus 36 is going to give us 117. 2 times 9 times 6, uh, let's see, so uh, 9 times 6 is 54. If you double that, you'll get 108, which will be cosine of C. We can subtract the 117 from both sides. That's going to leave us with negative 101 on the left equals negative 108 times cosine of C. We can divide both sides by the uh, negative 108. So that'll just leave us with positive 101 over 108 equals cosine of C. Squeeze this in here. 101 over 108, I'm getting that to be 0 0.935 equals cosine of C. And now if we just take the inverse cosine of both sides, That's going to give us our angle C, and let's see here, I think this should be, let me double check one more time, so 0 0.935, uh, if we do the inverse cosine of that, I'm getting this to be 20.77 degrees after rounding here a little bit, so uh, that's all there is to it. Um, and again, uh, you know, we need the 4 isolated at the beginning on the left side again because that's what's going to give us the cosine of this angle that we want here. So nothing worse than that. Just again, uh, just noticing that the smallest angle will be opposite that side of length 4. Using law of cosines, just being a little careful with the arithmetic. And uh, that's all there is to it.